Hey y'all, Machine Watchable here, and today we're going to be ranking every single Spirit Halloween 2023 animatronic from worst to best. I have 23 animatronics on this list, it's kind of funny because 23 animatronics for 2023. If I missed any, just let me know, I'll, I'll like leave in the comments where I would rank them. But I think I got all of them, and I rank them based off of like how much I like them, how much their price fits them, and overall just how good they are as animatronics in my opinion. So without further ado, let's let's get started. Welcome to the land of eternal scare! <laughs> the Thresher is not a good animatronic. He's pretty cool, I like the idea of a walkthrough prop or decoration, but it just looks kind of weird and $400 is a lot for this guy, so I'm gonna have to say no. I know Slim was a pretty anticipated animatronic because we got Shorty previously, but this guy is just not good. He's $400, which is an insane price, and he only really has like three movements. The popcorn bag looks bad. He's just kind of dumb looking. I don't really like this guy. I'm not a big fan of the movies, and overall, I just, I don't like this guy that much. Greetings, creeps. <sighs> This guy could have been so much better, but of course he had to be awful. He could have been a lot bigger. I don't know why he's $400. A lot of these props near the bottom are just super expensive for no reason. Uh, he has weird animation. He just looks side to side and looks around, which doesn't really make sense. And he's really just $400 for a doll. You don't even get a chair. He could have been a lot better. I am not a big fan of the keeper. If you couldn't tell by now, I'm not a big fan of the licensed animatronics from this year. I really do not like this leather face, and I think the other two this year from Party City and Lowe's are a lot better. I also just prefer the original leather face look. I'm not a big fan of the um, pretty woman face. But overall, this guy's just kind of boring. I don't like that animation where he wobbles side to side. And the chainsaw moving is a nice touch, but it's weird that they gave him those two animations and nothing else. Also, $400 is insane. Definitely not worth it. Scary Sitting Scarecrow isn't anything that horrible, but he's also nothing that interesting. He's just a modern take of the 2016 Sitting Scarecrow, but with a scary face. In my opinion, just go with the original because he is cheaper, and the main scary thing about him is that pop-up motion. Nobody's really paying attention to that face. I feel like this guy is just kind of unneeded and unnecessary, so not, not super important to me. Martian Warrior has to be the best licensed animatronic this year, which isn't really saying much because I don't really like the others. I do like how this guy looks a lot. The sculpt for the head is really good. However, I do not like the price. $400 is crazy. I don't know why everything is $400 this year, but overall he looks cool. I don't really like that kind of misting effect. I wish it was just a fog machine connection because that would have been awesome. And I think he should have had at least one other movement. So I think just like a side to side motion would have been awesome. But this guy is a very middle ground animatronic for me. He's not horrible and he's also not amazing. Admittedly, this guy has grown on me a lot. I really didn't like him at first, but after seeing more videos and photos of him, I thought, you know, he's not that bad. I like the audio, I like how he moves around, and also you can adjust his height, which is pretty cool. Overall, just a solid prop, nothing to complain about. <laughs> Surprisingly, I also didn't like this guy much either, but I do like him a little more now. I think the main thing I don't like about him is just his legs, how far they are to the ground. He just looks very strange, but his jump scare is really scary. His audio is good. I like the look of the clown itself, and really Dagger Mike is not that bad. Hellspawn is a pretty cool reskin of Mr. Dark. I like Mr. Dark a little better, but Hellspawn is not bad. His audio doesn't make sense. He says, get out of my graveyard, even though he's a devil. Kind of doesn't make sense. I don't really like his bright red clothing, but his sculpt is really awesome. And the sounds he makes is very cool. I like the lights. Really cool animatronic, very good reskin. Yeah. 
I would say this is where the animatronics really start getting good. Deathstalker is super creepy looking. I love his giant head, giant hands, his audio. He's fog machine compatible. This guy just does everything. He's a little expensive, but I'll give him a pass just because of how big he is. And also his clothing is pretty detailed, which is awesome. Overall, no complaints about this guy. Really cool looking. I wish he would have been in stores, but I also kind of understand how big he is. That kind of limits him from being displayed inside, but Deathstalker is pretty good. Gordo is just a solid jump scare animatronic at Spirit Halloween this year. He, he's just great. I like his audio. I like how he just pops up. And I think he could have been a little cheaper, but to be honest, he's not bad at all. I compared him previously to the Party City like pop-up like pumpkin thing, but it's a different mechanism and he's a lot bigger. So I do like Gordo. I do think he's a great animatronic. Lil Jack Carver really surprised me. He's a solid jump scare prop, and I do like how his mask pops up to reveal that creepy zombie face. Super cool concept. I like how the pumpkin glows, and he's just sitting there. You can put him really wherever. Really solid animatronic, very creepy jump scare. Super cool. Just, he's good. Lil Jack Carver is good. Why does Eternal Rest have to be so faulty? Um, this prop is really like unique. I love that spinning head, the, the reveal of the creepy skull. This prop would have been so cool. However, the quality really gets in the way. I think if the quality was a lot better, it would be like borderline top five, but I really do like Eternal Rest. I wish it was a little cheaper, but this, this prop is just super, super awesome to me. Desmodus, probably the second jankiest animatronic, second most faulty, always flying off the mechanism and hitting other props. This guy's really cool, I do like that sculpt, however his quality is also questionable and he seems to break a lot, so I'm not sure if this guy will live that long, but he's still a cool animatronic. <laughs> Heckles has probably grown on me the most out of any animatronic this year. Obviously, he got recalled, which was really upsetting. He wasn't a bad animatronic at first, but really that, that face sculpt was really horrible and came, like, deformed a lot, which was upsetting. But I do like this guy a lot. I'm glad that they're bringing him back with a lot better quality and a better face sculpt. I think he could have been a better price, you know, 280 is kind of a lot for this guy just because he looks side to side and talks and has that Balloon projection. I'm not a big fan of the balloon projection. I think they could have just had a normal balloon and put that extra animation maybe in like a side to side kind of torso movement. The, the transition between the faces doesn't really look that great. But overall, I do like Heckles a lot. I like that he's a scared clown, that it's like somebody's forcing him to sell balloons that like against his will and he can't do anything about it. Really creepy. I love that he's not just in your face. Super, super creepy clown. I love Heckles. The question is always, can you do Grave Watcher style? But never, how is Grave Watcher style? I love Grave Watcher. This animatronic is so creepy. I'm so glad that they brought them back for 2023. I have this, I have this prop, super creepy. I love the new audio. You know, some people don't like it. I think it's fine. I, it's just really good quality now, which I like. Overall, just great animatronic, no complaints at all. Hello, do you want to play with me? Let's play a game. Creepy Rising Doll is another prop that Spirit brought back from previous years, and I think this is also a really good pick for a prop that would come back. Grave Watcher, along with Creepy Rising Doll, are just two really solid animatronics. I have no complaints at all. I like that the quality was improved. I like that uh, the plastic is better quality, you know, it's thicker. I like that it's taller in the mechanism is just gonna be stronger overall. This prop is so creepy and I love that the price is about the same because we all know that Spirit would love to make this 300. Overall, I love, love Creepy Rising Doll. Honestly, might be on my wish list. I'll, I'll think about it. Ah! 
Darling Dolly, credit to Haunt Things on YouTube for this video just because the official Spirit Halloween video isn't that great in my opinion. I love Darling Dolly. I know some people probably would think that I would rank her higher, but I think it just goes to show how many good animatronics we have this year. 2023 is a great year. Darling Dolly is so creepy, this seven foot doll that's jumping down with this terrifying screaming audio. Darling Dolly is awesome. I do really want this prop, but also the box is kind of big and she is 280. So I'll really have to think about it, but I love Darling Dolly. I honestly didn't see myself putting so many clowns at the top of this list, but it really just goes to show how many good clowns we have this year. Poor George is really terrifying. I love how he has two faces and he flips around between them. The sculpt is really awesome. That animation is super unique and interesting. I have this guy, no complaints about him. He's really creepy and I love that audio. He's like screaming, he's like ah ha ha, but he's almost, it's almost like he's kind of enjoying being cut in half, which is creepy. Love poor George. <laughs> I know stilts at number four is probably a really unpopular opinion, but I really love stilts. I usually don't like clowns, but this guy really just blew me away. That head twisting animation really fits well on this guy. The colors they used are awesome. The blood on the bowling pins looks great. And he, his, his face just looks awesome. I do wish that his box wasn't as big and that he wasn't 350, but he's definitely a prop that I would consider getting. Now we're in the top three, we have the Cauldronist. Thank you for chilling props for this video because Spirit does not want to release a video for this animatronic apparently, but the Cauldronist is a super interesting one. Uh, there are a few things I don't like about this prop. You know, the face looks like a piece of pizza and also 280 for this like two foot prop, questionable. But the animation I think more than makes up for it. I love all of that use of the fog, how it goes into the cauldron and then straight up. I like how she looks up and down. She has mouth movement. She pours the fog into the cauldron and also her hand kind of like, kind of is like moving around above the cauldron. Honestly, really great witch, super love this prop. In every meaning of the word, I think the black heart is incredible. I really did not see myself putting him at number two spot in this list, but I kind of randomly purchased him one day and he's just, my love for him has just gone up exponentially. This prop is terrifying. I love that kind of almost like mesmerizing kind of arm movement with the, the, like the reveal. And the sculpt of the woman is incredible. This prop is so good. This is, this is why I like Spirit Halloween. I wish he was a little cheaper. He is 300 for like two movements and like audio, but overall this guy is awesome. Definitely incredible animatronic. Okay, so you might've seen this coming. Emmeline at number one, this animatronic just blew me away. This animatronic is incredible, awesome, spectacular, never before seen. This is the kind of thing that we would see in like a professional thousands of dollar prop, but no, it is 280. It's all metal, it, it, it lunges four feet forward. It's incredible. I'm in love with this prop. I cannot wait to get her. She's just so spooky. You know, Techie always manages to surprise us with these creepy mechanisms, creepy props that do wild things. And I think this one really just goes to show that Techie is on top when it comes to new and innovative ideas. Awesome animatronic, I have no complaints. I'm glad that the fingers are latex so it won't kill anyone, LOL. Super great animatronic, number one, definitely deserves it. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. It took a while, so hope y'all enjoyed it. I really do enjoy 2023. I think we do have some pretty awesome animatronics. It's, it's a bit of a better year compared to the previous years we've had, but overall, I'm not mad at all. So let me know what y'all think of my ranking in the comments down below if I ranked any of your favorites at like last place or if I ranked anything too high. Let me know what y'all think about it in the comments down below and I'll see y'all later.